uproar tour is popular with fans this summer, but it's also gaining popularity with the bands as well. After a hard day of rocking out, there is plenty of after show activities. This tour includes Hailstorm, Stone Sour, Avenged Sevenfold, Hell Yeah, New Medicine, and Disturbed, among others. Stone Sour's Jim Root talked about the vibe on this tour. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, we've done a lot of tours with the Steward before, you know, whether it's with Slipknot or Stone Sour. Um, we've toured a little bit with Avenged Sevenfold, but we know the guys. We've done some radio shows with them before and things like that. It's like summer camp, man. It's like, you know, it's almost like the, the, the OzFest vibe and the Mayhem vibe. It's kind of the same thing. You know, you got, we got barbecues every night. People are making weird drinks out of Jagermeister and slush and Red Bull and whatever else. And, you know, everybody hangs out and Vinny's cooking for people. And, you know, it's, it's a cool vibe, you know. It's, it's a lot of fun, you know. I mean, it's a little bit of a logistical nightmare as far as, um, you know, you got a, a bunch of bands that have brought out headlining sets, you know what I mean, rather than like festival type sets. So logistically, it's a little bit of a nightmare, but we're all working together to make it happen. And, and it's been happening and the shows have been great. The crowds have been great. You know, and we're meeting some new bands that we hadn't met before that are really cool and kind of bringing them into the family, taking them under the wing, you know, type of thing. So it's, it's, a, it's a really cool vibe. Hailstorms Lizzie and RJ Hale talked about what happens backstage after the shows. It's it's cool because we've never been on on a tour where it's mandatory for everyone to hang out and have a party and everybody on the tour has to host a party at some point in time during the tour. So hell yeah, has already like done two. Well, yeah, they did yeah. one <laughs> one on their own, like like the official margarita party. Yeah. And then last night they just threw one just for the like, hell of it. Just let's just set up the grill Those and throw in. So Vinnie Paul's time. grilling and, you know, and everybody's hanging out and it's, it's, it's really cool. Like, and everybody just, you know, hangs out with each other. No one's hiding in the bus. Hell yes, Vinnie Paul talked about being the MC and master chef on the tour. Well, I'm from the great state of Texas, you know, and uh, we got a very uh, charming way about ourselves. We like to have hospitality. Uh, we have the most beautiful women in the world, just about. Uh, we like to barbecue, we like to drink, we like to rock and roll, we like to have a good time. And, uh, you know, my mom taught me at a very early age to cook. I always was cooking for me and my brother all the time. And it's just uh, fun. We did a, a big barbecue last night. We did fajitas, we did guacamole. You know, all the guys were just totally digging it. It was awesome. Paul is looking to actually release a cookbook that he hopes to have done by the holidays this year. And we'll have more on that in the coming weeks. The Uproar Tour winds down October 4th in Madison, Wisconsin.